It is no secret that when you think of a desktop and laptop computer, Intel is one of those names that does pop up in your mind. But of late, I'm also sure that AMD is also another name that you've been hearing being thrown around in the computer world. Now, in case you did not already know, AMD, like Intel, is a designer and developer of Times86 desktop CPUs. And with their rise in line of CPUs, they have been shaking up the game when it comes to performance, value, and overall power efficiency. So what does an AMD Ryzen 5 5600 or an AMD Ryzen 7 7800X really mean? And what do these numbers actually mean? tell you so here's a quick rundown on how to tell which amd cpu is the right one for you and we're going to be starting from the bottom and head up the list in terms of processor performance and processor core count now at the very bottom of the list we have amd athlon silver and gold cpus now these cpus are very affordable and pocket friendly and are mostly used in light computers meant to do simple stuff like working with documents and surfing the web another thing to note here is that these cpus usually come with two cores and four threads and these are amd intel celeron cpu equivalent moving up the list we have amd ryzen 3 cpus they are also considered entry level and do come with a bump in performance as most cpus in this class come with four cores and eight threads an example of a cpu in this class is an amd ryzen 3 4300 and this is actually AMD's Intel Core i3 CPU equivalent. AMD Ryzen 5 CPUs are the middle point when it comes to performance and affordability, as CPUs in this class usually come with 6 cores and 12 threads. An example of a CPU in this class is an AMD Ryzen 5. 500. Now this class of CPU is a great all-rounder and are generally good for gaming, editing and streaming. They are AMD's Intel Core i5 CPU equivalent. Now AMD Ryzen 7 CPUs on the other hand are high performance CPUs processors that offer more core counts and more threads usually cpus in this class do come with eight cores and 16 threads and an example of a cpu in this class is an amd ryzen 7 5800x now this class is better suited for content creators and gamers who often multitask and this class is amd's intel core i7 cpu equivalent now moving on to amd ryzen 9 cpus which are amd's top tier consumer cpus now this class is better suited for heavy editing rendering game development and streaming basically they are the best when it comes to multitasking as these cpus often come with 12 cores and 24 threads an example here is like a ryzen 7 9900x and also do come with 16 cores and 32 threads like the amd ryzen 9 7950x and i'm pretty sure that you've already sensed the pattern here in that this is amd's intel core i9 cpu equivalent finally we have the thread reaper class of cpus for this class, it is not uncommon to find CPUs coming with 24, 32, and even 96 cores. Now, these CPUs are usually used for data centers, rendering, and very heavy and extreme computing workloads. And so, they are AMD's answer to Intel Xeon CPUs. Use. Now hopefully this information makes it easier for you to know which AMD CPU is the right one for you and which AMD CPU you should buy. And of course if this information was a little bit too complex and you need more guidance, remember you can visit our shop located along Kimathi Street at Old Mutual Building Room 45 on the 4th floor. Additionally, you can browse through our catalog and have a chat with us over at ES Gaming. .co.ke. Tell us what you think about this video and I'll be sure to catch you in the next one.